Billy Ray Cyrus broke on the scene over two decades ago, winning over our achy, breaky hearts. The multi-platinum selling recording artist has released 12 albums and 44 signals since 1992. We also know he's become quite the family man with a lot of star power in the Cyrus clan. But make no mistake, he is still the king. And Billy Ray Cyrus joins me now on set. Still the king, the title of your show, now in a second season. That's correct. Why do you think it's been so successful? I just think it's a little bit of something everyone can relate to. You know, there's uh, it's certainly a very youthful story. Um, I'm... Long story short, I play a dysfunctional Elvis impersonator who lies his way into the church as a preacher, only to find out that I have a 15-year-old daughter that I never knew existed. That's season one. Season one ends with me going to prison for being a liar. And season two opens up with I'm getting released from prison on good behavior. Now, I'm not a Billy Ray completist, but I do know some of your background, and I don't recall an Elvis phase. So I wonder, uh, this is clearly fiction, but is it a kind of alternative reality? Is there a version of your life in which you can imagine yourself having gone down Vernon's uh, path? There's a whole lot of, you know, art imitating life, imitating art. Um, my papa, my grandfather was a Pentecostal preacher. Uh, my dad had a gospel quartet. Certainly the Southern roots, the Southern gospel, the harmonies. Um, you know, Elvis, Elvis, big to all of us, you know what I mean? And um, um, that being said, to come to this point to where I was looking at a point in my career of reinvention, and that's always an intangible. It's not necessarily something that's, you kind of got to figure that out. And I like the idea of, you know, after Hannah Montana and my first series, I played a doctor, a country doctor in New York, the show was called Doc, and it was very serious, heartfelt. I'm going, where do I reinvent from here? And I was down south touring. I saw this old dilapidated Pentecostal church across the street. It was an old place Elvis used to play. And I go, that's it, Cyrus, right there, you know. Dysfunctional Elvis impersonator who lies his way into that church as the preacher. And that began the storyline right there. Vernon, the character in the show, struggles with the balance between fame and family, a balance that you have also worked with. Let's not say struggled, but how do you work with it? <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's one of those things you take day by day. You make adjustments. Like we all do in life, you know, it's a, it, life's a journey and you, you make adjustments, that's, that's what you do. Well, how do you and, adjust, I mean, being a dad and also being a performer? You know, um, again, just day by day, knowing that me and my family, we all love making music. Again, going back to my grandfather, my dad, we, we all played music by ear. Um, it's in our DNA, music is our passion and that's how we express our emotions. Um, and we share that music as a common denominator. You know, as a dad, I look at my kids, my family. What's most important for me as a dad is that everyone is happy, safe, loving what they do because they love it, not because they have to. And, you know, to see my kids reach their dreams, their goals, and knowing that, you know, that, that life is about, you know, being a light in this world, you know, and representing uh, that positive light. So Miley and Noah, your daughter's names, uh, yes. Can you talk a little bit about what it's like to be a father and not only see your children go into the family uh, line of work, but to see them become such successes in it? You know, um, again, as, as a dad, what I really want to see is them be happy. And that's something that you see and you feel. And knowing that they're happy and doing what they do because they love it. As an artist, I look at both of them in amazement. I mean, I'm just... As an artist, I go, wow, these songs that they're singing are real. They, they, this, the greatest songwriters I ever knew, um, you know, Carl Perkins wrote Blue Suede Shoes, uh, uh, George Jones, uh, Willie Nelson, Christopherson, Johnny Cash, they all said the same thing. Write the songs that you're living. The music is your truth. And knowing that my, my kids are singing and living their truth, that's the beauty of an artist and the real definition. Let's talk about the music then. And 25 years ago, that guy uh, yeah. wrote Achy Breaky Heart yeah. and performed it, but a lot has happened since then and you've got new music coming out. What are you working on now? I have an album called Set the Record Straight. It comes out on the 25th of August, which happens to be my birthday. The album's called Set the Record Straight. Cyrus. That's the name of my band. It's called Cyrus. I was Cyrus before I signed my record deal. My band was Cyrus and I'm still Cyrus now. So I'm um, looking forward to the new music. A lot of that music you'll hear in Still the King. 
for instance, the opening scene, uh, I'm singing a song called You Good. You Good actually spawned from my real life of texting one of my girls and saying, you good? You know, you're just checking to make sure everybody's safe and everything. You good? So I looked at it, I go, that's Vernon from prison riding Charlotte knowing that he's messed her life up, but he's saying, you good. And a lot of times the music, again, it's art imitating life, imitating art. And the music is that realism for me, but it's came in awful handy for Vernon. Vernon goes back to his roots. He realizes he can't be Elvis any longer and he's gonna go back to being himself. And he writes a song called, I Want My Mullet Back. <laughs> and that becomes his big hit. Yeah, I see you smiling. Yeah, that's that's the deal. It's fun. That's what this show's about, you know. It's fun. Uh, the, the writing is really, really smart, but funny and no rules, no limits, you know. Just take the gloves off and let the horses run. Are there similarities between the storytelling in a country song and the storytelling in a, uh, a network show? You know, for me, the, it's more about similarities. It's the similarities of keeping it real. Um, fortunately, I'm surrounded by some really great actors and actresses that are really true to that art form. I, I'm a singer-songwriter from Flatwoods, Kentucky. I, I write songs, and but the common denominator in music and acting is let it be your truth, let it be real. It's, that's what that moment's about. Uh, my first film I ever did was David Lynch's Mulholland Drive, and it was on that set that David Lynch told me, he said, you know, you could be an actor. Just keep doing what you're doing. And I said, I'm not doing nothing. And he said, exactly. And to me, I found that to be the rule of thumb for me as an actor is less is more. And I'm surrounded by great actors that can bring on the more. So I let them do all that stuff. And uh, I just try to know my lines and hit my mark. Well, Billy Ray Cyrus, I appreciate you making uh, CBSN part of your New York City uh, trip. The album Cyrus is out August 25th, and Vernon uh, on Still the King, when can people catch him? Tonight. Tonight. CMT, that's right. 10, 9 central uh, on CMT. All right, very good. You Billy Ray. It. Don't forget, all new season of Still the King airs tonight on CMT at 10 p.m. Eastern.